Good morning from Incheon. Day one, well, actually, first full day of quarantine. The day you arrived actually counts as your first day, so uh, arrived at like 10 p.m. So first day was only like a few hours. But anyway, food's here. So unlike the last hotel I stayed at, which knocks on your door every time the food gets here, there's three 30-minute windows where food show up, and you just gotta go get it yourself. So in this hotel, which is the uh, Grand Hyatt and Incheon Airport, you have a choice between Asian food and Western food. I, of course, chose Asian food. Breakfast is container of stuff, more container of stuff, and more container of stuff. And a yogurt. Okay, so the rice is warm. It's kind of worried because there's no microwave in here. So there's a container of rice. A con Ooh, whole fish. Look at that. Probably wouldn't see this if I ordered Western food. And the other container is some kimchi, some beans, some mini wieners, and some veggies. I am curious about what Western food would be. Maybe like an omelet or something? Definitely not a whole fish. Look at this thing. Wow. I'm surprised the head is not on this. The fish doesn't really have a lot of flavor. And that is what the kimchi is for. Sad to say, the mini wiener might be the best dish in this collection. Mm, a little cold, but good. I guess having a microwave here will be kind of dangerous when they're serving whole fish. Imagine this whole hotel smelling like microwave fish. Kimchi's really good though. Also love the yogurt here in South Korea. It just tastes much, much better here. So it's about um, 9 a.m. right now. They're doing these daily announcements. There's about six or so announcements every single day. So after this, do some work, and I think I'm gonna crash. I'm already feeling it. It's only about 7 p.m. in New York right now, but I haven't really slept much in the last couple of days. So I might just crash till lunch. Woke up and snow is covering the ground. That's pretty though. Anyway, announcements just came in. Lunchtime. Here you go. Isn't this exciting though? Like whenever you get dinner and lunch, you're like kind of anticipating what you're getting. Like Christmas. Like Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Except we can't go outside. What is this? Ooh, rice cakes, steak with little bits of corn on top. You don't seem excited. Soybean paste soup, rice of course, bottle of water, little banchan tray of pickles, jalapeno, radish, and fish cakes. Oh, not jalapenos, eggplant. Here is the soybean soup. Also, uh, different facilities vary. So the last one I was at, you were able to order delivery, not from restaurants, but from major retailers. Here, you're not allowed to order anything. So whatever you have here, that's it. I really wish we bought a box of ramen. How are you enjoying quarantine food so far? Not really enjoying it, <laughs> but it's exciting. Don't you think the anticipation is fun? Like every day you don't know what's coming? You know, last, last hotel I was at, every single meal was bulgogi. I haven't seen bulgogi yet. I'm pretty happy. I think I'd rather see bulgogi. Every every meal? Yeah, then. This is good, look at this. Humbok steak with rice cake on top. Oh, I wish we brought chili oil. Why didn't we bring chili oil? Such a elementary mistake. That would've made everything so much better. I kind of like this. The rice cake is so chewy and nice. The steak is lukewarm. A little microwave would be really, really nice. I brought stuff so I can kind of MacGyver myself a little grill. I haven't really had to use it yet because the food is still kind of warm. I like the soup. I feel like every day here, you're pretty much getting stuff from Korean convenience stores. So in Korean convenience stores, one of my favorite places for food. Mm. I like the eggplant. Pickles are nice. Mmm. This fish cake is delicious. Have you tried this? Mm -hmm. It's really good. I'm gonna dunk it in my soybean soup. So far, I like this way more than breakfast. 
Hi, it's about three in the morning local time. Just woke up. I think I went to bed as soon as I brought dinner in. Um, of course, dinner is now cold. Let me see if I can heat it up somehow. I do recommend if you're doing this quarantine, maybe bring like an electronic lunchbox or something. Obviously, we left in a rush, so couldn't bring anything. Only thing I had was foil, and hopefully, they have an iron. Ooh, and there we go. Yes, they do. So they give us instant coffee. I wonder if this works. Let me just pour this into a water bottle. I mean, I added too much water, but otherwise, yeah, this works. It fully dissolved. Mm. Oh, let's put another pack. It'll be two packs. That'll work. You ready for some iron fried rice? Oh, not only is it heated up, a little char too. So this officially makes me an iron chef, right? I think so. I mean, this chicken with some hot oil, I think could have been really good. That's the biggest thing I regret, is not packing some hot oil. I'm trying some greens, perilla leaves, pickles, and what's this gooey stuff? Banana. Oh wow, this thing isn't just banana. It's banana and cornflakes. Huh. You like the banana and cornflakes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Korean banana pudding. This is a Korean banana pudding? Mm -hmm. In partnership with Kellogg's cornflakes? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Oof. Oh, that's bright. Uh -huh. Focus here. So pretty much know what to expect every single day. You're gonna get a little tray of whatever food protein and then you're gonna get four banchan. Usually well, there'll be a pickle or kimchi, cucumber. I kind of like this fish cake, it's nice. I think this is soybean paste with tofu. Okay, although there's no meat in here, this might be the most flavorful one we've had so far. This is cooked in the soybean sauce. Love these though. This is already technically the third day of our 10, 10 day quarantine. So one week left. I feel like the past three days have been going really, really fast. And basically what we do every single day is just eat and look forward to the next meal. Lunch is here. It's just a chicken breast with mushrooms. But the rice is different. Oh, it's fried rice this time. And we get a banana. Also this soup, this uh, soybean paste soup with cabbage, the saving grace of every single meal time is the soup. I know there's probably a lot of question of if someone is a smoker, how do they stay in quarantine for, you know, 10 to 14 days without smoking? The answer is, well, I think they do because my bathroom reeks of cigarette smoke. Just reeks of it. So um, if any South Korean government officials watching this, I didn't do that to your bathroom. I know what breakfast is before even opening it because I can smell it. Breakfast is another piece of fish. Oh, that thing smells. <laughs> the most exciting thing about breakfast is the soybean paste soup and this yogurt. I think the menus have started to repeat itself. We got this fish on the first morning here. We may, we may be looking at a three day repeat cycle here. This really is getting a little depressing. Luckily, we're on day four already, so going kind of quick. Of course, being stuck in a hotel room and just shoving food in your face, it's not the most healthy way to get through 10 days. So gotta do as much workout as you can, this little space that we have. So uh, luckily, I'm experienced in quarantine workouts. You'd be surprised. Jogging is something you can actually do in a hotel room. Yeah, so a couple times a day of that, I'll get your blood pumping. Yeah, so if you do this and you do run, ninja steps, quiet as possible. That is always a workout. So this is day five. And so far the meals have been pretty repetitive, but today it changed up a little bit. So this is always here. You always get soybean soup. This is the thing I look forward to most uh, for all the meals because it has the most flavor. You get your four, Banchan. I think there's a spring roll in there today. This is what I'm really excited about. Soy milk. There's really not much sweet stuff 
I remember the last time I was doing quarantine, I actually brought the Zerd. There was, um, I think, sodas at some point. Um, here, there's sometimes a muffin. Today, the yogurt that we got wasn't even sweet. I'm excited for soy milk. And the dish to go over rice is jajang. So today's lunch is jajang bap. Probably a spoon is better for this one. Ooh, there's cauliflower in this jajang. I hope there's some meat in here. So jajang bap is pretty much jajang man, except it's rice and not noodles. I mean, not overly exciting, but this is the first food item that's sort of new that we got. Yeah, jajang cauliflower. Wait, you got potato in yours? Do you have cauliflower? Mm -hmm. You don't have a single cauliflower? No, all potato. But all potato, no meat? No. <laughs> so I have all cauliflower, no meat? At least potato belongs in Jiajiang. What, what's the cauliflower doing in Jiajiang? You definitely won the Jiajiang lottery today. Like seriously, not a single piece of meat in here. Somehow the cauliflower army invaded and have taken over the Jiajiang world and everything is now sad. I can't believe the last time I was at quarantine, one meal they gave me a cot the size of my head and now it's just all cauliflower. Oh, the first meal out of here is gonna be epic. Today, chuk, rice purge with beef and little bits of curds inside. I think I might have just tasted the tastiest thing we you see so far in quarantine. This. Like a little fried meat dumpling. This is delicious. I wish I had 20 more of this. I remember last time, actually really liking the food in quarantine. This time it's way different. Every day I look forward to instant soup and instant noodles. Lunchtime, and I think everything has changed. Today's lunch is... One of these that I remember from the last quarantine. And a bag of snacks. There is a brownie, coffee, instant coffee, instant tea, a smoothie, whoopie pie, and assorted chocolates and cake. Pretty similar to what we got when we first came in here. Oh, a smoothie. Oh, this is delicious. I have never been so appreciative of Lipton instant peach iced tea. Yum. This is the hump day celebratory meal for getting through half of uh, quarantine and the uh, celebratory meal is bibimbap. Mm, not bad. Kimchi pancake is nice. The end is in sight. Two and a half days left till quarantine is over. Here's how we've been passing the time. There is a lot on Korea's Netflix, like a lot of movies. So we just went through the entire Marvel catalog, the entire Mission Impossible franchise, and now we're gonna start on Lord of the Rings. That and just a whole lot of sleeping. Today's food is, is really different though. Lettuce with tuna on top. This might be one of the best lunchbox we got so far. It just tastes like tuna salad, but such an awesome change of pace from the food we've been eating so far. Some seaweed wrap with uh, cellophane noodles inside. And to keep up with the nutrients, pack it this a day. I'm trying to stay as healthy as possible, so work out every day. So far, day seven, feel pretty good. Home stretch, home stretch. <gasps> last day of quarantine. So quarantine technically ends um, midnight of your last day. So technically we could leave tonight at midnight, but that's the point. So uh, leaving tomorrow morning by 7 a.m. And maybe since is our last day here. Strawberry yogurt. Ah, although the regular peach is awesome. Let's see if food is any better on the last day. And ooh, I think it's mapo tofu. This mapo tofu though, it's got no meat. Nor much flavor. At least we got one of these nice nuggets though. This is good. It's like a little potato croquette. Really excited for this though. Hmm. Oh yeah, best part of breakfast. Back home, I never eat yogurt. I'm telling you for some reason, South Korea tastes so much better. Lunch time is chicken and mushrooms and a cherry tomato. And what appears to be fried rice, but not really, but very excited for the banchan. First time making its appearance, jalapenos. This is my favorite banchan. So yeah, mushrooms and a piece of chicken. Oh, this is good. Lychee jelly. 
Heck yeah. It's like I'm eating bubble tea from a plastic tray. All right, final meal of quarantine. I think this might be one of the best ones so far. Rice, obviously. Instant noodle looks great. Little piece of cake. Banchan introducing the first appearance of a steamed egg. Pretty velvety. And the main dish is, looks like bulgogi, beef bulgogi, rice cakes. Mm. Wish all the meals were like this one. One thing I really wish I had was the last time I did this quarantine, we were able to order stuff from online markets. I ordered cans of Korean tuna. That stuff's so good. Cause that and rice alone is an amazing meal. So gonna be a little strategic here. Uh, gonna save the instant noodles for tomorrow morning. Cause we gotta be out of this hotel room by 7 a.m. tomorrow. All right, see you in the morning. Good morning. Three o'clock in the morning right now. I never ate spicy instant noodles for breakfast. At least not this early. I don't know if it wakes you up. Anyway, I'm gonna get some work done, publish a video, pack, and then check out in less than three hours. I don't know, I forgot how exactly the checkout process is gonna go. Um, but then after all that, I'm gonna grab some food. Now I'm gonna tell you guys more of my recommendations, do or do not, if you are gonna go through the quarantine here in South Korea. Well, that's it. 10 days are up. Let's go get something to eat. First stop is we have to go to a health center. Because if you come to South Korea and you don't have a QR code or a paper stating that you're vaccinated, um, you can't get into any restaurants or pretty much you can't get in anywhere except for maybe the convenience store, supermarkets. You have to go to the health center and non-residents can't really get a QR code so they gave us sheets of paper so I got like three pieces of paper that I have to show whenever I go inside a restaurant where else they won't let me in and a big mistake we almost made was there's a huge line over there of people so we're about to go out to the end of the line just wait um, to get into the building but that's just for PCR testing so you can just walk into the building right there and go get your paper or if you're not vaccinated you need to take a PCR test every single day and use that negative result to get into well again anywhere first order of business Get a SIM card. I always have trouble getting my phone to work with the SIM cards here. Um, the people at the airport try to do it on my iPhone, they couldn't do it. I'm in the Myeongdong area right now, this place called Self Made SIM Card. Guy always can get it to work. So if you are having trouble with your SIM card, that's where you go. Now for some food. First meal out of quarantine. Couldn't really check in yet, so we put the luggage at the hotel. And just found this restaurant nearby. At this point, I'm so hungry, so I didn't really research much. Just saw skillet steak. I like skillet, I like steak. So came here and, they, and then their lunch set is a steak and a pasta. After 10 days of eating mostly rice and some sort of stew, steak and pasta sounds really, really, really good. Came with a mushroom salad and didn't expect it to be this big. It was good. Different types of mushrooms, cheese, shiitake, oyster mushrooms. First of all, I miss salad. Second, this is freaking delicious. My mushrooms are so nice. And they grilled it, so it's just popping with flavor. Oh, to be able to eat something like this feels so good. So good. And this is just a salad. I might cry when I take a bite of the steak. Dish number two, this is the rose shrimp pasta. First of all, how pretty is this? Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous noodles. So it looks like some sort of vodka sauce with giant plump shrimp cooked in. That's freaking amazing. That pasta is so good. It's a creamy vodka sauce. And the sauce is so mild and flavorful and gentle. Pasta is just an absolute perfection. And they serve it to you with that little side of pickle radish. A little pickle veggie is so nice. Balances out the creaminess of pasta ridiculously well. Also, the shrimp. Oh my goodness, that's plump and nice. Everything is good here. Trust the food gods. Never stir you wrong. <laughs> nice, thank you, thank you. 
Look at this steak is here in the pan, potatoes, some veg with butter. And it looks like some vinaigrette. Oh, look at this. One side ribeye, one side tenderloin on a literal skillet. That's a tender steak. Look at this. A little bok choy in the steak skillet. Mm. Some grilled mushrooms here as well. Mm. So happy, so happy, so happy. Come try the steakhouse out. This is great. This whole thing, everything is great. And then on the way up, I saw a really cool dessert shop nearby. Well, eat this and then go eat some more. The dessert place I was looking at, well, that's a pretty one there too, but sip and nibble. Oh, this is so pretty. It's a cream latte with, looks like a shaved chocolate, dry free strawberry on top. Oh, that's so yummy. So smooth with nice little chocolatey bits on top. I think this is about as good as you can get after a huge meal like that. If you're fruit combing, the coffee will wake you up a little bit. Also, got a box of chocolates to nibble on later. Just got to the hotel and um, at the hotel lounge. Look at the food at the hotel lounge. This is the hotel lounge. This is all food for dinner. Usually you get chips and some juice. Look at this. Kiwi, melon, pineapple, like a whole dessert section. Mochi, cakes, kimchi, smoked salmon. Oh, look at this. Steamed clams. How intense is this? Grilled short rib patties, fried chicken, fried rice. Oh my gosh. This is 100% the most elaborate hotel lounge I've ever, <laughs> ever seen. Seriously, clams, clams in a hotel lounge. Now give me some of this short rib patty. What is this, dim sum? Oh, dumplings. More dumplings. Rice noodles. There's congee, there's soup. All sorts of cheese. Some kimchi. This is the JW Marriott, by the way. This is too fancy. <laughs> mm, sure, the patty's really, really good. Some place just okay. Wow, clams are really nice. This is so elaborate. Like, I really don't even need to go out and pay for dinner. Let's come here and eat. They got better food than probably a lot of restaurants. Seriously, never seen anything this nice before. Just got a haircut, went back to Slumdog Barbershop. These people are so nice. If you ever need a haircut, you're in Seoul. Check this place out. Ooh, they brought over some snacks. Oh, these are the good oranges. Yes, this is, I feel like this is a lot of fanciness for two crackers and three pieces of cheese. Ah, yeah. I'm probably one of the only people on earth more excited about the sparkling water than the wine. Of course, I got the chocolates from this morning. Oh, it's good to be back in a room that has fresh towels. So, um, originally they were gonna give us fresh towels middle of the week, but uh, over the announcement, they said that people were stealing towels or something. So whatever towel they gave in the beginning, which was one big towel and two small towels, that's what you're stuck with. So another tip, bring, bring your own towels. They will, however, give you detergent to wash your towels in the bathtub. Those things will take forever to dry though. Anyway, other tips for getting through quarantine, make sure you bring an HDMI cable connected from your laptop to the TV so you can stream movies and TV shows on the TV. Definitely bring spices, chili oil, salt and pepper. Again, canned tuna, maybe spam. Hmm, iron grill spam. That sounds not bad. Also something else really exciting I wanted to let you guys know about. So like I mentioned in a previous video, we are officially launching Dumpling Rewards on February 7th to kick off Lunar New Year. And to celebrate the Year of the Tiger, I'm dropping four awesome Chinese New Year collectibles. And don't forget, these collectibles are gonna come with points that's gonna unlock even more exciting prizes in the future. So the first item is a free Lunar New Year collectible card, and that's gonna be free for everybody. The second collectible is gonna come with an exclusive video. Of course, it's gonna be free, but it's gonna be limited to 5,000 fans. The third one is gonna come with a box of my favorite Chinese New Year snacks, four savory, five sweet, nine 
items total. And the last one's gonna be an autographed red envelope from me. I guess I am at that age where I'm handing out red envelopes. There's only gonna be a thousand of those, so mark your calendars. So if you wanna check out these upcoming collectibles, I put the link down in the description box below. So check it out. And hopefully this video has been helpful. This is my second time doing this, but a lot of stuff has changed since the last time I did a video like this. So if you are traveling to South Korea, hopefully this video has been of some use to you. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'll see you later.